Hi Libra. Mary here with your reading for June 2018. This is a monthly reading. It won't resonate with everyone. So check your moon sign as well as your rising sign. There's some kids playing outside. They're pretty loud, so sorry about that. I don't know if you can hear them. Alrighty. Let me just check out these cards here. Okay, Libra. The first card up is the King of Pentacles. So this could be an energy, an earth energy coming into your life either a male or female, this month, Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus. But it could also be that you're feeling, um, you're feeling on solid ground. You're feeling grounded. You're feeling stable from a safety perspective. You know, um, you have what you need, a roof over your head. You're feeling safe and you're feeling like you have everything that you need. But you're at a crossroads at the beginning of the month. I feel like you have a choice or a decision to make. Um, there's two paths that you can take. They both lead to basically, I think, you know, uh, sunnier skies. <laughs> I don't think that you can make a wrong decision. You're going to end up where you're supposed to be. Um, but you do need to make the choice. So if, if it's something that you've been putting off, don't be afraid to make the choice, okay? Um, we have the Tower card, which is all about change. It could be that the universe was kind of nudging you along to make a change, but you didn't do it on your own. So the universe is going to do it for you. That's what the Tower card is all about. So it looks a little scary, but don't be scared. It's usually, um, it's almost always a good thing. Um, so just be aware that Towards the beginning of June, there may be a big change coming. But that's going to lead to balance, harmony, peace. This is the temperance card. And um, towards, towards mid-June, whatever change is coming, it's, this, it's going to lead to peace and balance and harmony. And we have the star card, which is all about hope. Um, hope and dreams coming true. So um, if you feel like at the beginning of the month that um, an abrupt change comes, I don't want you to worry. I, I want you to know that there is hope um, and balance coming your way. Now we have the Five of Wands. This is um, conflict or drama. I want you to stay out of it if you can. You see that they're, they're having a battle, but no one's touching it, each other. There's no winners, there's no losers. Those, it's like conflict for the sake of conflict or drama for the sake of drama. So um, if you feel like you're being pulled into some sort of drama this month, I want you to step back, take a deep breath, and stay out of it. It's not going to help you to be involved. This is towards the end of the month, the Three of Pentacles. So I feel like if you work as a team, um, in a career situation, this is career, in your job, something like that. Um, try not to do it alone. When I see the Three of Pentacles, I just think of teamwork towards a common goal, which is financial stability. And then you have the Two of Cups. So this is all about unity. There could be uh, a new love coming into your life towards the end of June. It could be a reignition of passion with your significant other, your husband or wife. Um, you know, you're reigniting. There's a new commitment to the relationship. Or it could even be not necessarily a romantic thing, but it could be a new partner, a new business partner coming in. But there's a real unity, um, even a soulmate feeling. You're going to be um, coming out of whatever battle you're in, or whatever situation you're in, victorious. Towards the end of the month, I see you celebrating, um, feeling victorious after going through some sort of battle. So all in all, it looks like a really good month for you. 
You just have to make a choice about something. Um, and there's change coming your way, but it's going to bring you harmony and peace, balance and equilibrium. And you've got the star card, which is all about hope for the future. This is Doreen Virtue's um, daily guidance. And we have release and surrender. Release and surrender what it is that you think your life should be like. Release and surrender anything that you're hanging on to um, that no longer serves you. That could be behaviors. That could be um, memories, stuff from your past that you need to let go of. That's going to create room for new energy to come in. And release and surrender to um, the universe. The universe has your back clearly with... Um, You've got three major arcana cards, um, especially that star card. So release and surrender. You don't have to control everything. We really don't have control over anything <laughs> except for our response to things. Um, so you want to honor your feelings. This is Archangel Haniel from Kyle Gray's Angel Prayers. She assists us with dealing with our emotions. Um, so you can just call on her and she'll help you. I call on her daily to as an empath and when I do readings I need to clear my energy and she just helps me to do that. So um, as you release and su surrender and you are able to let go of some of that old baggage, those old emotions, she can really help you clear that. And that leaves room for the good stuff, right? Okay, so this is for Libra. Libra for June. Okay, this is from Wisdom of the Oracle by Colette Baron Reed. And you can see it's a fork in the road. And you got this card towards the beginning of the month. A choice to be made, a decision to be made, and you got it again here. So it's definitely a theme coming up for the month of June. You're going to have to make a choice or a decision. It's going to benefit you. It's number 13. 1 plus 3 adds up to 4 and that's all about foundation, stability, and balance, which is the temperance card. So once you make that decision, you're going to feel a lot more balanced, peaceful, harmonious. Um, decisions can be hard to make sometimes because you feel like, oh, I don't want to make the wrong one. But you can't make a wrong decision because you're going to end up where you're supposed to be no matter what. Just trust in the universe. Trust in the divine. This is um, from Kyle Gray's Keepers of the Light. I'm going to pronounce this wrong. Dual Cool, Dharma Unfolding. Did I say it right? Well, cool. Okay. It says, remember that you are, you are on a path. Take one step at a time to happiness. One step at a time, okay? Whatever decision you make um, on this path, one step at a time. There is going to be a change. There's a change. I've gotten a change card for every single reading I've done in the last month maybe more. So there's change coming. Just be aware of it. Go with the flow. Release and surrender to it. Um, and you'll be okay. I see balance, peace, and harmony um, for you towards the end of the month. Okay, Libra, if you like these readings, please like, subscribe, and share. And if you'd like a personal reading, just um, fireworks. <laughs> Go to my website, thelighthousemedium.com. I'd be happy to connect with you. All right, have a wonderful month of June, and I'll see you next time. Take care.